us this morning. We have several uh, really interesting topics to yeah, tackle yeah, today. Yeah. The first one, and again, politics is really starting to bubble up now. Yeah. Elizabeth Warren, one of the main uh, candidates for uh, president on the Democratic side, she's pitching a plan to pay for co like free college, yeah. but there's a there's always a catch, right? The money's got to come from somewhere, and this is in your loser column because the plan may have some substantial critics. Right. And I wouldn't call the plan free college. Uh -huh. I would say it's going to be a debt forgiveness plan. Okay. With that being said, I think we could use free community college, but that's another day, another conversation. Elizabeth Warren wants to use her wealth tax that she wants to throw out on people making big money and people with large estates to wipe out American college debt and pay for tuition. It's college debt's a problem. We have $1.5 trillion of student yeah. debt crisis. It's uh, getting people rattled. Elizabeth Warren, 2020 presidential candidate, she unveiled a plan today calling for a broad cancellation plan. It's kind of funny the way it works. It's up to $50,000 in debt reduction for 42 million Americans tied towards college debt. Um, it's tied towards how much you make. If you make too much money, if you make $200,000 and $250,000, you're not going to get anything. If you make $100,000 to $250,000, it's going to be substantial, but it's going to really help people who make under $100,000. It's how do you pay for it? You tax people. Um, it's a way of getting votes, and we are now in that presidential cycle mm. that next thing someone's going to talk about is maybe big drug pharmaceutical companies. The next thing someone's going to talk about is uh, property taxes or other, other areas that we have to be concerned with. I like the idea, but the progressive in me wants free community college for one or two years after high school mm -hmm. and not forgive debt to a certain generation when other generations didn't get to benefit from that or their taxes are all going to pay into a generation who's got a lot of debt because their parents didn't police them and say, you can't run up $100,000 of student debt and be a art teacher. Mm -hmm. um, it is a problem and I know it and I know I'm not popular the way I'm talking about it. Um, this doesn't seem like the solution. Okay. Now on to an item in your winner column yes. today, Lady Gaga. I didn't realize this until uh, you brought this up earlier. She was bankrupt for a little while, but is now back Correct. in the red and doing great. Yeah, and uh, one of the issues that I have with people is we got to get over our shame. Lady Gaga can go bankrupt. You can go bankrupt. I get it, and I like that. Um, and again, I just talked about debt forgiveness, and now I'm talking about uh, being bankrupt in situations like this. She's won six Grammys. She's done five concert tours around the world. She's been on the Super Bowl. She sold more than 11 million albums. She's an Academy Award winner. Uh, it's pretty crazy how talented this person is. And at one point in time, people were calling her saying, you've got no money. And she's like, I got five number one hits right now. And they're telling her, you have no money. So if it could happen to her, it can happen to you. See, these concerts she throws, she pays for them. And she kind of like, she cuts out the middleman and she spares no expense. I mean, mm. it's, it's, these are great shows. And that's how she got into trouble. She said she's only bought two expensive things in her life, a heart valve for her dad and a Rolls Royce for her parents. So she's thrifty. And yet at the same time, she can end up bankrupt. You and I can end up bankrupt is right. what I'm getting at. All right, quick question from a viewer yep. this morning. We've got Carly writing in asking, should I dip into my 401k to pay off debt? What's worse, having the debt outside or within her 401k? I never recommend dipping in the 401k because okay. we've undersaved as a nation. People between 18 and 34, we found that about 25% of them have dipped into the retirement 401k to pay for their current debt. Uh, student debt is a big problem. Credit card debt's another problem. It's do you want to be debt free or do you want to have income in retirement? You got to have income in retirement much more important than debt free. Again, you can always go bankrupt like Lady Gaga did. Mm. Um, and again, it's an odd segment today. I know it doesn't <laughs> exactly work, but um, the IRS uh, will allow you to start pulling money out early. You can borrow money against yourself, but I don't recommend it. Okay, good enough. Thank you, yep. as always, Rob, and keep those questions coming in. You can email them directly. You can find Rob on Facebook and Twitter, and of course, always on our website at cron4.com.